Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. This problem is the uh, next in a series of solutions to the Math 186 final exam from 2005. Um, in this question, we're given the velocity of a particle. So suppose the velocity of a particle is given by given by uh, v of t equals t squared minus 9, where t is between 0 and 4. Okay, so the velocity at time t is given by that function there. And then question a asks for the average acceleration. So find the average acceleration. Okay, well. Uh, the acceleration is given by the derivative of the velocity, so let's find that first. This is 2t. And then to find the average velocity, so a, sometimes denoted a bar, on this interval is 1 over 4 minus 0, so that's b minus a. And then we do the integral from 0 to 4 of 2t dt. This is going to be 1 quarter of t squared evaluated from 0 to 4. So it's a quarter of 4 squared minus 0 squared, which is 4. OK, so that's the average acceleration. B asks for the average velocity on the same interval. So find the average velocity on the interval from 0 to 4. OK, so this is v bar equals the integral, sorry, a quarter, so 1 over 4 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 4, t squared minus 9 dt, which is 1 quarter of t cubed over 3 minus 9t from 0 to 4, which equals 1 quarter of, so 4 cubed is 64 over 3 minus 9 times 4 is 36 which equals 16 over 3 minus 9 which is negative 11 over 3 okay so that it's negative meaning that the on average the velocity is headed in the in the negative direction okay um, let's see part C asks for the average speed so Velocity takes into account direction. Um, speed doesn't consider direction. Okay, so speed is since it's not considering direction is the absolute value of the velocity. Okay, and so the average speed, the average speed, is the average of the absolute value function of the velocity. Okay, so it is 1 over, again, 4 minus 0, and then the integral from 0 to 4 of the absolute value of t squared minus 9 dt. Now, to evaluate this, we are going to need to split up the interval to where t squared minus 9 is positive and where it's negative. Okay, so let's erase all of this and see what we have. So the average speed so we'll write it like this, is 1 quarter the integral from 0 to 4, absolute value of t squared minus 9 dt. Now, t, um, so the absolute value of t squared minus 9, we need to split it up into cases. So it's t squared minus 9, where um, t squared minus 9 is positive. And it's the negative of that, which is 9 minus t squared, if t squared minus 9 is negative. OK, so that's t squared minus 9 if t squared is bigger than or equal to 9. And t negative of that, so it's 9 minus t squared if t squared is less than 9. And on 0 to 4, Okay, so those are the only values we're considering. T squared is bigger than 9 
if t is bigger than or equal to 3. So in general, on the whole real interval, t squared is bigger than 9 if t is bigger than 3, or t is less than negative 3. But we're restricting our attention from 0 to 4. So we just, sorry, I wrote t is bigger than 0. We're just um, concerned with those values. So uh, here, that means t has to be bigger than 3. And then um, t squared is less than 9 for t between 0 and 3. Okay, So it's 9 minus t squared for t less than or equal to 3. OK, so erasing this, you might want to copy it down if you, if you haven't already. What we get is that this is 1 quarter. So we get the integral from 0 to 3. And there, the function is equal to 9 minus t squared. And then from 3 to 4, the function is t squared minus 9. And we just go ahead and calculate those. So we get 9t minus t cubed over 3, evaluated from 0 to 3, plus t cubed over 3, minus 9t, evaluated from 3 to 4. And plugging everything in, we get 1 quarter of 27 minus 9 plus 64 over 3, minus 36, and then minus 9, plus 27. And that reduces to 16 over 3, which is positive as it should be. OK, and so that's the average speed on the interval from 0 to 4. So again, this amounted to uh, finding where t squared minus 9 is, is positive on the interval. So just discussing that again one more time. t squared minus 9 looks like this, so where this is 3. OK, so 4 is somewhere around here. So we're concerned with the function up to here. So this part's positive. So this is t squared minus 9 on the interval from 3 to 4. And then, well, we want the absolute value of this. So we're going to flip so the 9 minus t squared on 0 to 3 looks like this. OK, so that's why and how we split up that, that interval. OK, we flip anything that's, that's negative.